A heartbroken grandmother's search for answers after her 17-month-old grandson was apparently given away by his parents. The toddler's been missing since May. Can you help? I feel very bad. I feel very bad, very painful. I don't know he's alive or he died, you know? If you're happy to bring him to the door, or if you're happy for me to have him, I just need to make sure he's okay. Okay, I'll give you permission to enter the Thank premises. Is that all right? Okay. Come here, help. If you're fat, you're all right. Kim Hong Tran is the maternal grandmother to 17 month old Huang Vin Lee who's been missing for seven long months after a bitter custody dispute. No one in the community needs to be worried about the missing, uh, the news where Hwang Vin Lee is missing. Love him so much. He like very special in my family. So when he lived with me since he's born, so I just, uh, I just really worry. I just miss him so much. The baby boy was born in June last year to parents Wang Tan Lee and Kim's daughter Lin Kim Do. But Kim says about six weeks after his arrival, 21-year-old Lin left Tan and moved back to Canberra with baby Vin. Lin called me to say, Mum, I want to come home. Um, she cried a lot and she called me, can you please come and pick me up? I want to come home because... Um, He's, we have a big fight. For the next six months, Kim helped her daughter, who has an intellectual disability, raise baby Vin. Lynn stay with me. We have a happy family with the baby. Um, I'm all the time 24-7 with Lynn. But in February this year, Lynn reconciled her relationship with Tan and left baby Vin with her mum. <laughs> She left the baby home with me. She go by herself and never return. I never see her since then. I said, oh, the baby is crying, the baby miss you. But the parents eventually wanted him back. And in March, a court order was made for Vin to live with his father, Tan. Tan has a history of violence and has previously been guilty of assault, stalking and other offences. Kim was concerned for Vin's welfare, so didn't hand the baby over to police. They say, um, if you don't give me the baby, I'm not allowed to take it. I'm not allowed to take him, so they leave. I'm going to fight this case and do what it takes so that my child, Hwang Vin Lee, does not end up being in the company of Kim Hoon Tran. On April 9, the parents got a tip-off on where Vin was and made a move. He snatched the baby from, my, from the doctor room. When I take Vin to the doctor for the checkup, they came down with five people in the car. Um, Tan is jumping to grab the baby from my mum's hand and he had slept on the floor with the baby. That was the last day Kim ever saw her grandson. Tan and Lynn made it back to New South Wales with him, where police showed up to conduct a welfare check. We, we got a call from the other side as well that the child may have been hurt in whatever yeah. way. It was at a uh, medical centre. They had a court Yeah, yeah, yeah. They That's sent okay. us a... They just said, what I'm here to do is to make sure he's OK. Yeah. And when I fell, see, I had to use my knee and my elbow, you see, to force him on the concrete So seat. when you were falling down, you had hold of him. Yes, up. and I was covering oh, his right. head. Yeah. That's why I ended that's up got ripped pants yes. and cop this Ooh, and that's this. a doozy, that's a doozy. I've got the, a order from the Fed report saying that the child's to live with me until 18. But 10 days later, a judge granted Kim custody and the parents were ordered to hand Vin back. So I come and pick him up from there, but I came there, I wait until... Um, 2.30, 3 o'clock, nothing happened. They doesn't return the baby. On May 12, Tan posted on Facebook, just informing everyone that myself and my partner and our son, Huang Vin Lee, is safe and all living happy together. Therefore, we are not missing. So I don't know why we are listed as missing people, LOL. It included the last photos ever seen of Vin. 
The parents were arrested by police on May 20 and claimed the day before their arrest, they gave Vin to a person called Kathy Newen, who they'd met at a coffee shop and had paid her $200 to take care of him. But police have not been given enough detail to identify that person or determine whether Kathy Newen exists at all. They say they give in um, the baby to uh, one of their friends, um, that's Katie Lynn, but because Lynn with me at uh, six and a half months, I never heard Lynn say anything about this girl. The parents both spent time behind bars for allegedly failing to comply with orders to return their child to Kim. They're also accused of withholding information on his whereabouts. You can't just can't find her and then you you lost your baby. Can you believe this story? I don't think so. In November, the Australian Federal Police issued an urgent call for help to locate baby Vin after several searches failed to find him. Police believe he could be in the following areas of New South Wales, Cabramatta, Liverpool, West Wyalong, Tamora or Wagga Wagga. In response, the parents took to Facebook. Apparently, I've been listed on the news and that my son, who is known as Hwang Vin Lee, has gone missing. Tan says he'd rather a stranger care for Vin than his own grandmother. I've lost communication with um, Lin's mate because I was in custody for three months. Lin was in custody for one week. Due to that, we don't know where Kathy is, but even if Kathy is still looking after this child, I'd rather Kathy to look after it, or if the child is in someone else's hands, I would rather that happen. The next day, Tan posted another video attempting to explain his plans for his child. Later in future, I must pay this person back for the time and the effort that they have put out to raise up my child. Do you agree with me with what I just said? Yes, I do. Agree with it. But the court doesn't. A recovery order remains in place to find Vin, with a judge noting he's extremely vulnerable and possibly at significant risk of harm or even death. I still have everything here, just waiting for him to come home, just welcome for him to come home and uh, one thing I want to say is for my with my daughter Lynn, if you want if you see this one, please you know you know if you have a happy life, I'm happy for you, but I'm not thank you or anything. I'm welcome to, for you to come home anytime if you want to. But please don't hide the baby from me. You know how much I love him, how much your dad and your grandma love him. <laughs> Please return him, and I'm more welcome for you to see him. Lin, I still love you, Lin. I miss you so much. Now they're all gone, you know, like I just feel very empty. What would you say to anyone who has any information on where Vin might be? Please, if anyone sees the baby look a bit like Vin, when um, you see the photo on the news, can you please contact the ground stopper? And how important is it to you to bring him home? I want him to be safe home with me and I can care for him for the rest of my life since I die. Yeah, let's help find baby Vin. If you have any information at all, please help police by calling Crime Stoppers on 1800 333 000.